as as okay <laughs> Um, as Macy has stated, um, just like acupressure, there is um, different pressure points in the body that you can tap into. Well, the same thing we have in our hands and our soles of our feet, where you can actually touch the organs with your hands. And so I just wanted to keep it very simple for today. I know she wanted me to focus more on grounding. I had one um, mudra specifically in mind that I thought would be like perfect um, during this time. But um, I was really just feeling like with the eclipse energy going on and bringing things into the tangible world, I'm pretty sure a lot of us are like, okay, I, I want to focus on my stability. I want to focus on my prosperity. I want to focus on just having everything kind of stabilized in, in, a, in a healthy way. Um, and so having us ground while being um, balanced, especially in the root chakra, bringing us down to earth in that way, um, it's how we'll start off with. And then towards the end, it's going to be almost, it, it's a grounder, but it's a dance. It's more like an earth dance with your hands. Um, and that's kind of how I want us to um, go about it. Um, I didn't want to make this into like a full class, so I didn't know if y'all yeah, were going to have any questions about that, but I just wanted to break it down at least to the, to the basics. And so the pointer will be air, the middle finger is ether, the ring finger is earth, the pinky is water, and the thumbs are fire. Um, just in case you needed to know that. And so the first mudra we are going to start off with, we are going to place our thumbs at the very end base of the pinkies. And then we're going to close it like if you're doing a fist. And this is going to connect you with the Maladahara. So um, before you actually, I just wanted to show you how it goes. But before you get into any type of mudra work, it's best without any rings. Um, activating your hands. So we'll get into some deep breaths in so that we can activate our hands together. Um, that's gonna be the mudra that we'll end up staying in and you know, preferably keeping it on like your knees or the side, you know, the side of your body. Um, the lower, the better in a sense. So if you wanna put it by your ankles, that's, that's fine. Um, really initially what it's doing is you are taking all the elements and bringing it back into the deep, dark earth, in a sense. You're taking it to the deep part of your roots and you are allowing them to center you to your, your core, your earth center. You're allowing the elements for you to kind of balance themselves out in a way where it's like it, everything becomes kind of like neutral ground. Um, and so, with that neutral ground, it's not anything good or bad. It shouldn't be anything too high in. It shouldn't be anything too low. It's just completely neutral. So then once we do the tapping, we're actually going to be bringing our energies to be activating to the words of the affirmations. It'll be a lot more clearer, right? Because now you're neutral. It's like taking sage in the room and clearing out all the energy and now reprogramming the room and the space, however you want to reprogram it. So that I, I thought that would be a great reset kind of mudra to get started with, especially like, you know, if you're out in public, you can't really sage, but you need to like neutralize the energy. Now, you know, you don't got it. You don't got to punch somebody, but you could at least hold it up and it will um, get you started. So. We are going to close our eyes. I'm already rubbing my hands together. So as you are closing your eyes, I want you to take a deep breath, inhale. And as you are inhaling, rub the palms of your hands together. Just feeling the sensation. Swallow. And exhale as you shake your hands out. We're going to take another deep breath in. 
Again, rub, rubbing the palms of our hands together, activating the Nadi system, your nervous system. As you are breathing, you are continuing to rub your hands together. Swallow. And exhale, shaking the hands down. That's just activating the hands right now. If you are wondering why you're swallowing the energy, what you are doing, you are also grounding the energy of what it is that you are activating within yourself into your body. So we're going to take another deep inhale. Rubbing the palms. Swallow. and release shaking the hands. Now I would like for you to put your hands into the mudra. This is the Malodahara mudra. And just breathe at your natural pace with your eyes closed, allowing yourself to visualize the deepest, darkest void, into the darkness, grounding your energy into the earth's crust, the center, the center in which is the womb that is connected to your womb. Just breathe through the sensation. Do not think too much, do not visualize too much. Simply allow your energy to ground you and take you to where the center is for you. You may feel sensations going through your body. Deep coolness of the waters within your vessel. The hot fiery flame of your light. Connecting with your breath. Feel the sensation of how it is pulsating in your body so effortlessly. Allow yourself to feel the mudra grounding you into your core. And for any feelings that may come through, simply breathe through it. Bring it to the deepest, darkest part with you and sit with it. In the darkness, are you alone? Is the center of the earth inside of you? Is it outside of you?
Is the speed of your breath fast or slow? Are you in sensor alone or with a collective? Is your body dry or moist? Do you feel safe and secure? There is no right or wrong way. Breathe into the way. If any discomforts, doubts, insecurities, confusion come through, simply allow the darkness to neutralize it as it is not real. It is not false. It just exists. Recognize from where in your body you feel that, where it's coming from. For the earth is your flesh. The soil in which embodies the soul. Your thoughts are your seeds. I'd like you to take a moment to recognize where in your body you feel the most sensation as you hold this mudra.
you feel any pulsation. Does it have a color? Does it have a smell? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is it fast? Is it slow? As you connect with this feeling, travel with your breath to the center of your core. Allowing yourself to exhale any energies that is heavy, that is not serving you anymore. The core is your anchor. If there's any light, let that light be you, your soul. As it prepares to move the energy consciously for the matrix in which is in your grid, in your earth, in your temple, allowing the darkness to neutralize any and all energies that are no longer serving you, or thought forms, or discomforts and stresses, any so-called blockages are now neutralized. Through your breath, you bring it to the core, into the darkness. Take a deep inhale and squeeze on the mudra a bit tighter. Swallow. Release the breath as you enlighten your light inside your core center. The light of purification, the light of your soul. in perfect love, in perfect trust. 
you are safe. All things are possible. Your subconscious mind works for you. Your conscious mind is programming things for you, working for you. Your body is working for you. The elemental spirits are working for you. You are safe. You are divinely guided. Loosen your hands a bit, but keep your mudra still in place as you allow the energy to flow and just breathe. Inhale back into the darkness and squeeze the mudra. Swallow. Release what is not serving you and slowly loosen the hands by keeping the mudra in place. Feel the sensation. This time I want you to squeeze your whole entire body along with the mudra as you take a deep inhale back into the darkness, squeezing your whole entire body. Swallow. And release, keeping the mudra, relaxing the body. We're gonna do that two more times. Taking a deep inhale, we're squeezing the whole body, especially the butt cheeks together, your belly, your core, squeezing it, squeezing it, squeezing the mudra. Swallow. Release, keeping the mudra, but relaxing. Another inhale, squeezing. Really tight, getting all your corners in. Swallow. And release. Keeping the mudra, releasing the body. And on this last time, when we do the exhale, envision yourself as the divine light as we prepare to get into the tapping with Macy. So we are just gonna go into another deep inhale, squeezing as tight as possible, 
grounding all that energy into the neutral space of your core, into the earth's crust in which is one in wholeness with you. As you keep the mudra into the darkness, you swallow everything that is no longer serving you to neutralize it into that space and then releasing the breath. So take a deep inhale. Swallow. And exhale. Turning into the light. Slowly feel the sensation in your body moving. You can slowly open your hands. Really slow. You can wiggle your fingers. Shake your arms and open your eyes. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if she wants to sing, but if you're grounded, you're going to feel that like kind of still heavy and almost like sleeping kind of, but awake. <laughs> so um, just keeping the body flowing and active and moving, definitely. And um, I thank you, and I'm going to pass it over to the Divine Sister, so she can do her thing. Yes. Wow. 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 Thank you so much. Wow. I'm like, do we even need to tap? <laughs> Wow. Thank you. I, wow. So I just want everybody to take a minute just to like be with yourself. Because that energy is just, I mean, it's wow. So just be with the energy for a few seconds. I'm going to type in the first affirmation while y'all are doing that. As she types in the affirmation, I just wanted to say a lot of the times we get so used to visualizing the earth outside of our bodies. And so that's why I love that mudra. It's really high. There we go. So good. All right, so just in, you know, of course, like keeping in line with um, what Angelic was saying at the beginning about just like grounding into like who you are and your prosperous self and just your whole self um, and neutralizing that, you know, with the mudra, we just neutralized our energy. And so with the affirmations and the tapping tonight, um, I mean, it's just, it's perfect the way that it's flowing because we, we just neutralized our energy. And I think that in order for us to receive what will flow through the tapping and the affirmations tonight, that was super important to do that. Um, because where, you know, this first affirmation says, I am the greatest expression of myself. And so unless our energy is neutralized, we wouldn't really be able to receive that. And so that just was the perfect setup for us to be able to receive that that affirmation i am the greatest expression of myself um, and so neutralizing that energy means whatever whatever you are seeing yourself as in the future whatever you are seeing yourself as in the past whatever thoughts whatever were coming up you know from the past whatever thoughts you are projecting onto the future because we just we just neutralize that so it's like all of that just ceased to exist so that we could 
ground into what we are about to uh, ground into with our affirmations and tapping. So thank you so much for that. That was absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't really have much else to say about the affirmations. Um, just keep yourself open. Of course, you know, like we just neutralize the energy. So we're open. Um, just receive because after we will be writing a little bit, um, I have some specific um, things that I would like the writing to focus on. Of course, you can go outside of that box, but um, there's just some specific thoughts that I would like us to write on after we tap. Um, and so here we go with the first one. I am the greatest expression of myself. And so we're going to be tapping at the third eye point and the top of the head. So that point, that soft, that soft, you know, spot, you'll find that spot on top of your head and at your third eye. So third eye and top of the head is where we'll be tapping. So you can go ahead and start tapping there and repeating the affirmation out loud. And of course, I'm going to be just breathing and holding space. I'm going to turn the music up. We're only going to, we're not going to stay on the tapping and affirmations for too long. Um, so just go ahead and repeat that affirmation. I'm going to turn my music up, third eye, and closing your eyes if you need to. As you repeat that affirmation, I am the greatest expression of myself. And just allowing yourself to embody and receive those words. Allowing yourself to embody and receive the vision that may come along as, as you are tapping and repeating those words. Putting emphasis on whichever words your spirit is leading you to emphasize, I am the greatest expression of myself. Whenever you repeat that out loud, what self are we referring to? What self are you referring to? I am the greatest expression of myself. Allow your body, allow your spirit to show you which self you're referring to. Are you referring to this body? Are you referring to this mind? Or is it bigger than that? Allow yourself to observe and witness this greatest expression of yourself. We'll repeat that three more times. As you're tapping, I am the greatest expression of myself. I am the greatest expression of myself in this very moment. You are the greatest expression of yourself. We're not thinking about yesterday. We're not thinking about tomorrow. Right now, you are the greatest expression of yourself. After that third time, release your hands, release the words. Take a few deep breaths in and out through your nose.
And after you've taken a few deep breaths, go ahead and start writing. And I want you to write specifically about what is the greatest expression of yourself? What are words that would describe the greatest expression of yourself? What are colors that may describe the greatest expression of yourself? What does that look like? What does that feel like? What are some sounds that you would use to describe the greatest expression of yourself? When I was doing this earlier, one of the words that came up for me was carefree, not careless. I used to be careless. Now I'm carefree. So we'll take about, we'll take about a minute to write what the greatest expression of ourselves is, feels like, sounds like. And I'll be typing in the second affirmation. We'll take about 30 more seconds to write. And I've put in the second affirmation, so if you want to write that down, go ahead and do that. All right, and that second affirmation says, I'm living, I am living as the greatest expression of myself. I am living as the greatest expression of myself. And with this one, we're gonna tap at the karate chop point. So that's the side of your hand, and you'll tap around there on the outside of your hand on that pinky side, and you should be able to feel immediately as you start tapping in that area, that energy moving around. And so you can go ahead and start tapping there, close your eyes if you wish, and begin repeating that affirmation, I'm living as the greatest expression of myself. I'll turn my music up a little bit. We'll repeat that a few times. I am living as the greatest expression of myself. In this moment, in this moment, you are living as the greatest expression of yourself. Regardless of what you've accomplished or haven't accomplished, regardless of what you've succeeded at or haven't succeeded at, you are living as the greatest expression of yourself right now. No matter what has occurred in your past, No matter what you're wishing for in the future, you are living as the greatest expression of yourself right now.
You don't have to do anything more than what you are doing right now in this moment to exist as the greatest expression of yourself. In this moment, as you repeat this affirmation, let go of whatever expectations, standards, beliefs, or thoughts you have about what it may mean or look like to live as the greatest expression of yourself. There are no rules, there are no expectations, there are no standards that could sum up you living as the greatest expression of yourself. As you're repeating this out loud, I want you to pay attention to your face, to your forehead, to your eyes. Are you holding any tension in that area of your body? Can you relax as you're repeating this? Can you allow, can you release the resistance that may be present in your body as you're repeating this affirmation out loud? Why are you resisting the greatest expression of yourself? Can you let go of the resistance? Can you release the resistance? Can you forgive yourself for denying yourself the ability to live as the greatest expression of yourself? We'll repeat that two more times. And after you're done, go to breathing in and out through your nose. You are living, you have permission to live as the greatest expression of yourself. Take deep breaths in and out through your nose. Notice how you're feeling, where you feel it. Notice where the resistance may be coming up for you, which center within your center point within your body is that showing up in. After you've taken some deep breaths, the journaling. Just says, what is present in your mental life that is causing you to think you are out of alignment with the greatest expression of yourself? And that's a lot. I'll say it again. What is present in your mental space in your mental life in your mind that is causing you to think you are out of alignment with the greatest expression of yourself so what beliefs what thoughts and an easier way to maybe say it is what beliefs what thoughts what what is present within my mental mind that is keeping me out of alignment with the greatest expression of myself. What are you feeding yourself? What are you telling yourself? What stories are you repeating to yourself? We'll take about thirty more seconds to write.
And then I put our last affirmation in there. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. And so for this one, we're gonna tap at the collarbone. So you have that U shape right there in between your collarbones. You're, you can either just tap on one side or if you want, you can tap on both, but it's right underneath that U, you'll feel it like you have this U-shaped bone in between your, is this your clavicles? Yeah. So you'll tap right under there. So you can go ahead and start tapping there. Close your eyes if you wish. And repeat that affirmation out loud. I enjoy living. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. Or you could even say, I am grateful to be living as the greatest expression of myself. Whichever one fits best for you. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. Who is this self? When did this self first originate? Where did this self first originate? I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. This body, your mind, is all a part of the greatest expression of yourself, your divine self, your holy self, your sacred self, your sovereign self. What does that feel like to live, to enjoy living as the greatest expression of yourself? What do you give yourself permission to do? I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. I am grateful to be living as the greatest expression of myself right here, right now in this moment. You don't have to do anything more. You don't have to do anything less. All you have to do is be. All you have to do is connect. All you have to do is allow. All you have to do is receive. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. Go ahead and repeat that three more times. And when you're finished, go to that deep breathing in and out of your nose. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself. I enjoy living as the greatest expression of myself.
And then when you're, when you're ready, you can just, you can begin journaling. One of the thoughts that I had for journaling was, what are, what are some thoughts that came up as you were tapping during that last affirmation that are in alignment with you living as the greatest expression of yourself? And not just fishing for thoughts, not forcing the thoughts, but what really, what came up that really feels good to your soul, to your core? Thoughts or words that you can feel that resonate with your entire body. We neutralized our energy in the beginning. And so now what are these thoughts that your spirit is showing you that resonates with your entire body? You should be able to feel it within your entire body. it could be different action steps that you need to take that you want to take does it feel like it's in alignment with the greatest expression of yourself does it resonate with your entire body Take to about 30 to about 40 more seconds to write. And then I'll we'll have Angelic come back on to close us out. If anybody has any thoughts that you want to share in the chat before we go into the closing meditation, go ahead and share. That was amazing. Would you say that again? What'd you say? I said that was amazing. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm glad you were here for it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mute myself. So, Angelic, you can. Do your thing. I almost feel like just doing the prayer mudra, ending with that and keeping it in the heart center because the dance that I was thinking, I'm, my body's already dancing a lot. It's a lot of movement that's going on here <laughs> with a lot. So um, I think just allowing us to really, truly just keeping our hands balanced together, you know, activating the, the energies, activating our greatest versions of ourselves and keeping our hands in the mudra with our eyes closed and breathing naturally 
And so this vibration of your greatest version of yourself, our, our greatest expressions, just really feeling that energy in our heart's core and our body and our minds and our spirits, just really, I think that's the best way that we could um, really allow ourselves to embody this energy. So just allow yourself to relax. I, I would actually recommend you, if you can, to put your feet flat on the ground this time, as opposed to um, having your knees open. So that way it's fully um, moving. It's taking this course from, you know, your head to your toe. So keeping your feet flat on the ground. If you want to stand up for it, you can stand up or you can stay sit seated. Putting your hands in Anjali Praya Mudra in the heart center with your thumbs touching the chest cavity. Taking a deep breath in. Really allowing yourself to embody the affirmations. Breathing out through the nose. As you inhale with each time you are inhaling the embodiments of your greatest expression. Swallowing the new program into the body and releasing any resistance out through your mouth. Inhaling, allowing for the spirit and the mind to live the greatest expression of yourself. Swallow, and release out through the nose. Inhaling to your Ajna, third eye, inner eye, first eye. Envisioning and seeing you live as the greatest expression of yourself. Swallow, releasing out through the nose. Inhaling into the throat. As you speak the best version, expression of yourself. Allowing the vocal cords to be divinely guided in that expression of your greatest version. Swallow and release out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhaling to the um, Anahata heart center. Loving the full expression of yourself, your greatest version. Swallowing into the heartbeat, the new pattern. Releasing out through the nose. Inhaling to your solar plexus, your diaphragm. 
fully empowered and embracing the greatest version of yourself, the greatest expression of yourself. Swallowing, releasing out through the mouth. Inhaling into your sacrum, sacral below the navel. Reproducing the greatest expression of yourself over and over and over and over into each and every cell, every organ, every molecule, every atom, every essence of your being and all rounds and dimensions of your existence, swallow. and release the breath out through your nose. Inhaling to your root chakra, the Malagahara. Allowing the breath to go as low as it can below the pelvis area. Breathe, extend the breath down to your knees and to your ankles and your toes if you can. Embodying the greatest expression of yourself into this reality, into your physical being, swallow and release the breath out through the mouth. And just taking a deep breath in, allowing the energy to flow through your body. Swallow. and release. Living in the now, breathing in the now, as the greatest expression of yourself. When you are ready, you can open your eyes. I give thanks to each and every one of you for sharing space with me and living in the greatest expression of yourself. Allow yourself to just feel the energy. You can release your hands when you're ready. I know I like to still end up, I end up closing my hands and everything. Um, if you wanna shake off the energy, you will shake your hands. But if not, I'm not gonna shake off my hands because I wanna fully embrace this greatest version, this expression of ourselves is amazing. I thank you so much for being in this space. Definitely allow yourself to um, drink water after this to really integrate those colds, really allow for the body to move and flow, the energy to flow in your body. Um, and then when you are ready, because there was so much energy movement, um, slowly take your time to move your body <laughs> and work yourself back into, into this space at your pace um, because you might experience some purging. I'm also going to let you know that from right now, it may be emotional. It may be um, through using the bathroom, you know, up, up the attic or out the basement, either side. Um, you know, and um, if it's like, let's say throwing up, it can be like something that is um, a mental purge, a spiritual purge, um, sometimes emotional as well. And if it's out the backside, it's definitely, you know, it can be some releasing of causing you resistance in your physical life, um, any physical pain, any physical um imbalances that's clearing up may come out the backside, um, especially because the mudra as stated, that's the root chakra, the maladhara. So it's more common that it's going to come out the back end than 
the upper body, but because we did work on, on the upper body as well, the purge may, may happen that way. Don't resist it. If you have to pee, go pee. If you have to poop, go poop. Do not hold anything in. Um, definitely, um, that's all I wanted to, to leave you all just in case, because I know anytime that there's any type of energy work, there's going to be a purge that happens and not to be hard on yourselves, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, spiritual. That's all I have to say, really. I don't know if you have any questions or I know we spent a lot of time with each other. I'm so grateful for this space and this time and all of your energies are so powerful and divine. And it's an honor to share this space with each and every one of you. I can feel your love and your light. And it's just a pleasure. I, I really, I, I'm so grateful. I, I'm a lot at a loss for words, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I. <laughs> yeah, I'm at a loss for words too. Like it was just beautiful, and I'm grateful that you know you were here to share. I appreciate it. Um, the beginning grounding, this ending meditation, the way we ended, I think it was perfect. It just was really beautiful. So thank you so much for being here. I won't keep you all any longer. Um, if anybody has any thoughts, questions, whatever, you know that you can, um, you know, reach out and connect with me, and then. Um, you can go to any of the posts where I shared about Angela Gray on Instagram or Facebook, and you can add her as a friend, follow her on Instagram, um, and connect with her. I'll be going live with her in a couple of weeks, too, on her platform, so you can catch us there again. Um, yeah, everybody have a great night, and like I said, if, you, if anything comes up that you do want to talk about, that you do want to share, uh, because not last week, but the week before, so many people had messaged me and had, you know, similar thoughts or similar things that came up for them and so um you know we were able I was just able to say hey you know other people had this come up too so it's not just you you're not crazy this is perfectly normal so if you have anything that comes up then definitely reach out and let me know um uh, Lydia did you have something yeah no I just wanted to thank both of you because um it was so much energy um I'm kind of at a loss for words. I thought I, I thought I wanted to say something, but it's really just, I really felt how the mood just, just moved the energy and how I just really felt it um, all over. But I felt it in terms of direction. So mm -hmm. the direction that I was seeking, I have now received. Mm -hmm. So, and I just want to say, Macy, the affirmations were perfect. Um, sometimes we don't have words until someone else reminds us of them. So mm -hmm. I thought that just aligned so perfectly. And Angelic Soul, I love you so much. And I'm so happy you're here. And thank you, Macy. This was really beautiful. You're welcome. I'm glad you were here, Lydia. I'm glad all of you are here. I love you so much. Y'all have a great night. Um, See you next week. Invite a friend. Love y'all. Bye. Bye, Nanny Poo. Bye, Denzel. Bye, TT. Bye, Tiffany. Bye. Good See y'all. Night. night.